My name is James McManus, and I am the owner-operator of Family First Adolescent Services. I think the main difference between Family First Adolescent Services and many other uh, treatment centers that offer help for adolescents is that we are an all-male facility. Um, so the single gender, I believe, is important for no distractions for the boys. A couple of the really cool things about it are the low staff to patient ratio. So we have three to one staff to client, which means at any point in time, one child has three full-time staff members available to them, including an individual therapist. So it doesn't have to be their individual therapist. It can be one of the other five that we have on staff, but they're available to them on a rotating basis 24 hours a day. I think what drives me and gives me satisfaction at working with teenagers is the outcomes, you know? Like I want the kids to, to have great lives. And honestly, most of our lives were very hard through our own doing and, and our own life experiences. Our late adolescence and most of my staff's early 20s were not cool. And these kids, we want them to have an opportunity to not have to go through the legal, the family, the educational, the emotional distress that comes with substance use and comes with continued addiction. The educational component uh, for Family First was extremely important for myself and staff and upon developing our program. So most programs that we were used to were behavioral health technicians with kids in front of a computer. We wanted live teaching, we wanted master's level credentialed educators you know, being a part of our system and being a part of the treatment plans and educational plans for the kids. If a young man comes to us at 16 years old in 10th grade, he can seamlessly transition back into his school because the goal of our program is to proctor the work from your home school and your home district. One of the other things that's unique and different about Family First Adolescent Services is that we want the kids to have a really good time. So we ask a lot of them Monday through Friday, and on the weekends, we do a myriad of amazing stuff. They go deep sea fishing, they play paintball all the time. We have indoor skydiving, surfing lessons. We want these guys' brains to start to um, correlate fun and sobriety. And when you start getting high young, your brain quickly adjusts and you can't have fun without getting high. And so many of the kids will say that boredom is a trigger for them. And we want to debunk that. We want them to be out having a great time and, uh, and, and not be using drugs and be with other boys that are in the same boat. And I think that that's a big difference between us and many other programs in the country.